I'm gonna start today's video by saying that money is very very important in a romantic relationship I think generally money self is very important and if you're a guy or a lady and you're not ready to spend please don't go into any relationship yes girls you guys are also part of it it's not only guys that are expected to spend money in a relationship ladies should also spend so I said what I said hi guys welcome back to catching up with rj my lagos people how are you enjoying the easing of the lockdown hmm traffic has started again as in hey <laughs> it's like they released all the old lagos people after 10 years of holding them captive <laughs> luckily for me my office people we have not yet resumed in my office my boss is still asking us to work from home thank you so much boss. <laughs> but i went out on wednesday and man the traffic was hey the traffic was crazy it was really really crazy lagos people are not smiling anyway it is well with us <laughs> we'll survive we're surviving it before the lockdown so i'm sure we'll be all right so back to today's gist hmm. in today's video i'm going to be reacting to two issues and um let me start with the first one already so a friend of mine has this platform called strictly relationship and just like the name is only relationship stuff they talk about It's a platform for young people and he reached out to me and said he wanted me to come talk to them about red flags in a relationship i was really excited i told you guys i like relationship talk if i cannot match make people at least i should be able to share my small knowledge on relationship matters so i excitedly accepted the offer and it was super amazing like it was a very interactive session i had fun with the participants it was sweet at the end of the session we had this um question and answer segment a lot of them asked questions on relationship love at first sight go -be, go -be, go -be. but one question actually caught my attention and the lady was like okay a boyfriend is a calculator before he gives her money he has to calculate it she has to tell him what she wants to do with the money and even after giving him the money the guy will be complaining and complaining and a lot of people reacted to oh probably because the guy doesn't have money some people said that oh maybe the guy is stingy and somebody said something that the lady should not depend on just the guy's money which i totally accept as a lady that you're dating a guy don't be with a guy because of the only thing you're getting from him don't be with a guy because of money don't be the only one asking 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 sometimes just call him hello babe what's up where are you can i take you out you know take him on dates buy him gifts surprise him we ladies we like it when guys do these things for us but we don't like doing it for guys which is totally unfair don't just be the type that is always collecting and collecting also give and ladies if you've not been doing this i'm going to advise you to start doing it if you're not the type that likes to spend on your boyfriend you should start doing it it gives you more respect it gives you more value and it makes your boyfriend to appreciate you the most don't just be the taking taking type of girlfriend you to give your boyfriend and before i tell you what my own conclusion was or my own advice or my answer to her i'm going to say this so i hear a lot of guys complain that ladies like money too much money this money that see let me tell you the truth for a relationship to work well money has to be involved they say love is sweet but when money enter love sweet pass money you cannot even dispute that fact about the importance of money in a relationship but then i'm not in support of girls that the only reason they are with a guy is because they want his money totally no i wouldn't even buy that idea at all but guys why is it that sometimes you find it so difficult to give your girlfriend money if you love somebody you are not going to find it difficult to give them if you have a girlfriend there is no big deal. if you are giving her money there is no big deal in you giving your girlfriend money why you love somebody you give to them so back to that question so the lady said before a boyfriend gives her money is always calculating this that so this is why i told the lady i said that she should call the guy's attention to it they should talk about it know why he's behaving like that there are two things involved is either the guy is stingy number one or the guy doesn't have enough and he's trying to be accountable for the little money that he has but then don't just assume don't just assume that oh because your guy is doing like this is like that no sit him down and ask him babe i'm curious why is it that anytime i ask you for money you're always carrying calculator you're always making it seem like a big deal yes i know you're not plucking money from a tree or something but don't make me feel like i'm a burden or something so 
get to know why it's like that some people it might be because that's the way they were brought up and that's just their own lifestyle and all so get to know why it's behaving like that and when you are doing this ensure that you are not shouting because number one it's not your money and if he decides not to give you money you cannot kill him at the end of the day so you have to be very polite you have to probably when you guys are in a very good mood that's when you should pop up the question you don't have to start shouting or making him feel like a broke ass or something you know just try and be very nice and romantic about it and if it doesn't change and if you continue like that if personally stingy guys are your spec please carry your load sit down in that relationship be devoted to the guy loving with all of your heart but if you know that you cannot cope sister the earlier you run for your life the better for you because if he's stingy in a relationship it's gonna be stingy in marriage i bet you so the second thing i'm going to be reacting to is a post that i saw on instagram a few days back where um the guy and the lady they're about to get married i think a day to the wedding the guy buzzes the girl to tell her that babe i think you might have to quit your job because of our family you know you're four months pregnant and you close by 11 pm i close by 10 pm i don't think that's actually a very good one for a family mind you this guy earns 240,000 naira per month while the lady earns 355k per month well according to the guy he said that there might be a promotion and there will be an increase in his pay and the girl goes wild like why would you tell me to quit my job i cannot quit my job this that this that blah 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 blah, blah. and i went to the comment section and i saw that a lot of um ladies a lot of guys they were insulting the guy saying that the guy is selfish is this is that the girl should run away she should leave the guy this lady is actually four months pregnant so this is my own take on the matter when you're dating there are certain things you should start talking about and when you're saying that oh me and this person we are likely to settle down together there are things you should start talking about and by the time the guy proposes there are also some things you should start talking about that is why it's not even healthy for you to get pregnant for your partner before the day of the wedding so that in case anything happens you can easily just drop back before the wedding day personally i don't think it's a good idea to have couple closing very late and they are raising a family but in this situation instead of the guys to just like outrightly tell her oh resign from your job this that they should have even talked about it in the first place before a baby even getting involved they should have talked about it but now that they did not talk about it before the wedding what you should have done is to ask her for her own opinion what do you think how can we go about this personally i believe that before you start dating somebody you guys should share similar values i mentioned it in my videos five red flags in a relationship if you guys cannot agree on anything it is a red flag so there are some things that you need to discuss and know that oh okay oh, we are agreeing on this thing together just like in this situation right now the lady doesn't see anything wrong in her closing by 11 pm and the guy closing by 10 pm and raising a family in that type of situation and the guy is not comfortable with that type of a thing so personally i will not want a nanny to raise my child up by the time i get married and i'm ready to start having kids I will not want to be working a job that by 11 o'clock, that is when I'm getting home, then one nanny from somewhere will now be raising my kid. I will not allow that. Like, that is not the type of, that is not how I want to raise my family. Definitely, there might be a time where I won't be around for them all the time. But you see that age of from 0 to about 10 years old, it is very, very delicate. And as a parent, as a mother, you're supposed to be there for your children. So back to the discussion. This is what the guy should have done. You should have talked about it before a day to their wedding. They should have talked about it, not just coming a day to the wedding and saying, Oh, you have to resign. No, that is being not fair. But again, since the lady is just four months pregnant, they still have five months until her delivery. Within that five months, they should be able to come up with a plan B. If it's for her to start a business or a or get a more flexible job, and that is better, then she can actually resign. Do you ask me if I were to be in her shoes? I will gladly resign. However, I cannot be a housewife. I cannot even sit at home jobless. I want to be a housewife. Like, like me, Oleshe. But if you're giving me an alternative of getting a more flexible job or probably starting a business, and of course, you are going to be paying me money. Like, you are going to be supporting me and we are not going to have any financial situation in the, in the family. Oh, good and fine. Absolutely. I will gladly resign. 
after I've had my child, raised my child very well. And when they come to a certain age, then I can now go back fully into my career. So I don't know if you're in that lady's shoes, what would you have done? Will you resign your 355k job to see that at home with a husband that is earning 240k and of course there might be a promotion or what are you going to do i would actually love to hear from you in the comment section and with that we've come to the end of today's video guys okay let me just say this right now let me just swallow my pride and say mm. this my goal is to get 1k subscribers by the end of may and that can't be possible without you please if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do so already please please kindly do so already and give this video a thumbs up till i come your way next time be good and stay out of trouble i love you Mwah.